Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Let's Play of Dragon's Dogma 2. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we are going to get some side questing done. Tidbit I heard from the these pawns are really starting to bug me. I'll tell you what, uh, they just, they talk at the worst moments possible. So there was a couple of things that I found, um, while I was doing things, I was roaming around in the common quarters and in one of the houses, I found some, uh, beggars garbs and it gave me a side quest. I also noticed a couple of people talking over here for a side quest. And then the boy that we helped out um, earlier is sitting at this fountain. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk to the boy first. And then we're going to figure out what's going on with the beggar's garbs. The calls. So we'll go to quest. The ornate box. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? Twould seem the Queen Regent has made sick. We meet again. Truth be told, I was hoping we might. Would you care to stay and talk a moment? Sure. I'm glad. Sit down, won't you? I'm rather fond of this place. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement, so alive. And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother is quite strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. My mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own hands held a certain appeal. Which reminds me, I owe you a debt. I fear I cannot repay the full sum all at once. I have rather little in the way of spending money. Pray, take this for now. You'll have more when next we meet. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. So we're going to meet with them again. In a few days time. Okay, so we'll have to do that again. All right, we'll go to Beggar's Tail. And where there's that up there and then the tavern. Let's go to the noble quarters. It seems to be closer, kind of. I don't know if it's necessarily closer or not, but it seems closer. Interested in my wares? Whoa. Why did it do that? Am I going the right way? I hope I am. Bunch of sluggards. New blood. Can't help but talk in a whisper. Hey, you. I don't believe I've had the pleasure, sir. Have we some business I'm unaware of? Yeah, are these beggars garb yours? You mean to tell me that Albert has been playing the part of a beggar? That man who would sooner starve to death than lift a finger in the pursuit of honest labor? If this is a jest, it is in very poor taste. All the same, 
I shall test the truth of your accusation, and who better to make it plain for us than Albert himself? I will place these clothes somewhere about the house. If he has aught to hide, his reaction when he finds them will doubtless be very telling. You may visit us again in a few days' time. Fear not, I have no intention of causing a fuss. Okay. Come back here in a few days? Sure. I guess we'll go down to the slums. And I want to see what's up with some of these side quests. There was a little girl that was talking about she didn't know what to do, so... By your leave, Arisen. I'm going to see if that's a side quest. Which I'm assuming it is because she keeps repeating it. But that doesn't mean anything. What am I to do? There's a ladder here. Ah. Oh. Excellent find. Right here, this. What to do. Yeah. What to do? What to do? I've no mother or father to speak of, you see. So the nice people at the gracious hand take care of me. I wanted to get them a present to say thank you, and I thought a bunch of flowers would be just the thing. Now the problem is, I can't seem to find any good ones. Do you think you could help me? All I need is a bunch of pretty flowers. Sure. For true. Thank you ever so much, Arisen. I'm sure you'll find the prettiest flowers that ever were. I'm pretty sure we have some in storage. What should I get up to today? Not sure if it matters what flowers. No, I should have went the other way. Whatever. This works. Well met. You you will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated to the former. Um. There's a bunch of flowers. Most hospitality in all Vernworth. You know where to find me. Oh, so she actually did want the bunch of flowers. I just assumed that they worked all the same. Finding my way through this place is very confusing. I'm sure it gets easier as you run through here more and more often. Where's that little girl at? She's over here. Hoy Arisen! Have you brought me a bunch of flowers already? I sure have. Oh, just look at them. They're the most beautiful flowers I've ever seen. <laughs> These should brighten the sisters' days. Say, would you mind terribly if I asked you another favor? Ask away. See, one of my friends taught me a magic spell. It's supposed to let you meet whomever you like. All you have to do is find a silver stone, put it under your pillow, and say the magic words. But there's the problem. I've been looking all over for such a stone, and I can't find one anywhere. Would you find a silver stone and bring it to me, Arisen? Um, yeah, I can do that. For true. I knew I could count on you, Arisen. I'll be waiting. Our next mission is to acquire a silver stone. Mayhap silver ore will serve. We can purchase it, or mine it up ourselves. I quite agree. Okay, I may have some silver ore. I don't know.
Oh, it actually shows you where you can get some silver ore. Awesome. That's pretty useful. Well met. You will soon forget the fatigue of a long journey when treated. Oh, pff, I have plenty. To the foremost hospitality, you know where to find me. It's me, but I'm certain there is one. Welcome. Think go this way. Oh dear. What am I to do? Going back and forth is definitely going to help me. That's not the little girl. Oh, I can't find a silver stone anywhere. Have you fared any better? I have some silver for you. Oh, just look how it shines. Thank you ever so much. Say, aren't you curious who I want to meet? Well, I'll tell you. My mother and father. I don't even know what they look like, you know. Not to say I'm unhappy at the gracious hand, of course. But I'd really like to meet them. Even just once. That is super duper sad. Although she does have a positive outlook on life, at least. I want to tell them how grateful I am that they gave me life. Oh, it's so shiny. Oh, hi, Arisen. You'll help me again if I need it, won't you? Please say yes. Of course I will. Miss Daphne seemed pleased with our efforts. Mayhap we ought to pay her another visit sometime soon. I agree. You have my support. That's quite enough. Okay. Thought I heard somebody say, whatever am I going to do or something. I think that's like the standard <laughs> uh, quest thing. This isn't much to go on. No. Hey, you. friend. Have you a spare moment? I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week with no one slated to mind the house in my stead. Fear not. I only ask your name to list as a tenant. You needn't bother yourself with the cleaning, and I don't expect you to stay cooped up in there, neither. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a waypoint on your travels. Sound appealing? Then come on by and have a look-see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map. Let's go find this lady. You've come. Glad to see you, friend. So, what say you? Would you care to live here in my absence? As I've said, you needn't worry about tending to the place. Sure. Many thanks, friend. I knew I could count on you. I'll stop by again in a week's time. But till then, farewell. I'm all for camping, but solid walls are a joy that can't be beat. And ours for a full week at no charge. What a steal. Right you are. I agree. Cool, we have a home. Um, but we can't do anything about the quest just yet. We're gonna have to wait a week. Let's finish up in the slums. I know that I heard somebody else talking down here. Oi, who's there? It's been a hard day. Arms, arms for the poor. Pray grant those less fortunate some salvation. Let me get that. 
Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Do I have any food? I don't. Few can afford perpetual generosity. I hope you will return, should you find the... I got some coin. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Yeah, sure, a thousand gold. I got 3,900 anyways. Or 39,000, not 100, my bad. Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. That's it. Well met, Sir Arisen. Might I trouble you for arms for the poor? Many thanks. May fortune smile upon you, kind sir. Ah, hold on a moment, Sir Arisen. Perchance you would be willing to aid me with another matter. You see, one of the children we care for here at the Gracious Hand has gone missing. Malcolm, his name is. He's a steady lad. I can't imagine he would have run away. This building's very old. It could be that he's found himself in some strange corner of it. Might I impose on you to search for him? Let us begin by gathering information. You have my support. Hey, little kid, you see Malcolm? Malcolm's been really into exploring of late. Just the other day, he was going around telling anyone who'd listen about how he was an ox hair away from making some big discovery. Okay. There's another little kid, I think. Is... is Malcolm all right? We were supposed to go exploring together. But I overslept, and he went without me. Wish he'd woken me up. I was really looking forward to going down into those vaults. Oh no. I wasn't meant to tell anyone that. Hey. Who the hell is that person running away from me? They were just watching me, I think. It's kind of creepy. Is there any more kids around? Hey, you. Malcolm. All he's doing of late is picking through rubble. Don't know why he bothered. Our results are awaited. What say we make our report? Sure, let's go talk to the priest again. Vaults, you say? By my knowledge, they were sealed off. Ah, but you mention rubble, I Then perhaps the lad found a way through. Come, I fear there's not a moment to lose. Pray, follow me, and quickly. Where are you going, old man? I believe this is the place to which the children were referring. Look there, a hole. Could he have passed through here? There is naught to be done but have a look for ourselves. The passage ahead looks small, but we may be able to squeeze through. Let us make haste. I am proud of my devotion. I pose we scour this place anew. Who knows what we might find? Indeed. Let us know if we can be of assistance, Arisen. Jump across. Oh, I was scared I wasn't going to make it. Is 
isn't worthless, but that's as much as I can say for it. Rarely have I felt so empty. Malcolm, thank goodness you are unharmed. You have my eternal gratitude, Sir Arisen. Now I can breathe freely at last. Sir Kendrick, you'll never believe what I've found. It's just up ahead. Books, sir. Books, books, and more books. It's like some sort of secret workshop. Truly, perhaps we ought to take a look. You ought to follow close behind. You have my support. How are we to get through this door? Like that. <laughs> oh, battle is upon us. Magic can view your weapon with the fury of the elements. Ooh, Seeker's token. Lantern oil. Be on your guard. There are innumerable corners where an enemy might conceal themselves. Heavens above! Isn't it amazing? And I found it. Me. Tis quite a find indeed. Is this some manner of archive? Why, I've ne'er seen so many books. This collection must be worth a fortune. Tis a veritable treasure trove of wisdom. Might I ask that you not share the existence of this place with others, Sir Arisen? We cannot allow the knowledge accumulated here to be misused or mistreated. We ought to entrust its care to someone worthy, someone who can appreciate its true value. Pray, tell me if you know of such an individual. As for you, Malcolm, I forbid you from telling anyone else about this place. It will be our little secret. Understood? Oh, but... However, in exchange for your silence, you may come and go as you please. Let's investigate this place's secrets together, eh? It near boggles the mind that so impressive an archive slumbered here. Tis surely at any scholar's dream. Right you are. Ooh. Any more loot in here? Chest? Something? We're probably going to have to come back through here eventually. There's going to be something else to do in here, I'm sure. Nice, some gold. Pay back a little bit of, or not pay back, but get back a little bit of the gold that we used. Well, no chest. Just some books. This might be worth a read. Shall we take a closer look? That sounded weird. Go up these stairs, I think. Is overly narrow here and ill suited to combat. Let us proceed with caution. Eyes peeled, ears pricked. Malcolm keeps going on about his amazing finds, but he won't say what it is. I didn't want to talk to you. 
I spend my days in quiet reflection. Is there aught I can assist you with? I fear I've much to attend to. Is there aught I can assist you with? No. Oh. An unsettled mind begets an unsettled world. I spend my days in quiet reflection. Okay. Nothing else to see around here. I don't think there's any other side quests to do over here. My greens are second to There was somebody watching me earlier. And then they ran off. I think there was a quest about that, right? Make contact with the mysterious figure who has been shadowing your every step. Yes. Um, a shadow dogs your every step, perhaps sent by someone who did not take kindly to you prying into palace affairs. You had best confront this individual and find out their intent. Chance to put my feet up is as welcome as fine ale. I what am I to do? I'm lost without those garments. So tight. I. What do you want? Hmm. Your pockets look full. Got all to spare. Okay. <laughs> I'm in a dead end. I'm always doing about a dozen things at once. Maybe if I sit still for a bit. Oh no, that's a guard. Ah. Think that's them. Nattering all day is tiring. You. My, my, I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. Um, why are you following me? What? Can't you think of a reason? I'd thought you a keener wit than that. Let's just say there are some who don't want you wandering about as you please. I was to report on your comings and goings, you see. But I suppose that job's over. Now you found me out? So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Um... No, I'm not going to let you go. Understandable. Still, no harm in asking, was there? Let's get this over with then. Oh, shit. I didn't think we were going to fight. You there. Halt. Shit. We're in for it now. With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the rest. We will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you, wait till then. 
We shall see how bold you are in irons. Do not test me. It's good. Still a while to go with such a high time to be heading home. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. We ought to put it to good use. I was trying to talk to this person. Say, have I seen you around? I don't see anybody else to do a side quest on. I didn't think that we were going to be fighting either. Hey Lucy, can you heal me? You have no need of my assistance at present. But I shall be ready to render aid at a moment's notice. Time was, you scarce saw any beastrums here in Vernworth. You'd think that'd be on account of immigration, but not so. See, a child born of both races always favors the beastrum. At least I've ne'er beheld a human with a beastrum parent. Well, I suppose it might be possible, but tis unheard of. If we keep mixing, someday our kingdom will end up with more beastrums than they've got all in Batal. How racist of you, sir. See if there's anybody down here to talk to. I'm not sure what to do. Peril on the roads puts a strain on my business. Well met, son. How might I be of service? This really is fun, craftsmanship. Oh, um, yes? Uh, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a closer look at these bows. Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny I am curious about them. That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. <laughs> I have no desire to actually own one of these contraptions myself, uh, and even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseemly for an elf to aspire to such a thing. No matter how they fascinate me, it isn't to be. Oh. Okay. I don't have a bow on me that I can give him. Are you in the market for something in particular? Yeah, actually, I need to buy a bow. God, 4,000. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Savage Fang. All right, let's buy the hunter's bow. No. Always a pleasure. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These foreign bows do so intrigue me, but I shall admire them from afar. It would be unseemly for an elf to purchase one. Yeah. You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, and yet tis unlike one in near every respect. Such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. I suppose that, that comes from using different materials. Well, why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should marvel so at a bow not of elven make. I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My aim has suffered of late, such that my wayward arrows simply would not strike true. The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow is to be put on trial anon. Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. I, I speak of the trial of archery, a time-honored elven custom. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered to have come of age. I have been training most diligently, yet my skills ne'er seem to take shape. Indeed. I fear my aim has only worsened with each new failing. 
I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than master my own peoples. Thanks to you, I now have the means to do so, though I dare say I shan't make any headway on my own. Say, would you be willing to give me a demonstration? It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir, you give to me this bow. I only ask that you show me how to wield it. Absolutely, I can show you how to wield that bow. Many thanks. I'm indebted to you twofold. But this is no place to practice. Would you be so kind as to meet me by the ruins north of Trevo Mine? That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. There's a ladder here. We ought to put it to good use. These pawns and ladders, man. Where is that house? I think it's over here. I want to rest until the next day to try to... Is it this way? I might have to look at the map real quick. Yeah, I'm going to look at the map. Mildred's dwelling place. Ooh, what's this? Oh, cool. Steeled Virtue. Let's deposit that. I can sell that stuff. Let's deposit that. I'll hold on to that. Put that away. Anything else? We'll put that away. I'm probably going to sell these books. I won't use them. Hold on to that. Let's rest until the next day. See if we can't get some of these side quests to trigger. We must rest. Though the sun is still up. Cool. Defeated a Cyclops. Awesome. Um, put in storage. Let's see. Earn a pawn badge. Defeat Cyclops. Um, items. Do we have any good items that we can give them? Um, I don't know, maybe this. I return. A good sleep does wonders. Come, we've much to be getting on with. Feeling rested, I trust? Cool. Got a wake stone shard. Hold on. What quest am I on? Let's...
ornate box. Let's do that one. Shall we seek out the young man from the other day? Pray, allow me to show you the way. A guide is most welcome. Now we I shan't can lose our out. way. Hi. Faring well, I hope. Would you care to join me? I'd not say no to a bit of company. Sure, I'll uh, sit next to you. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet here today. Intuition, I suppose. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a tr How I envy you. This city is all I know. Sorry, I did not mean to skip that dialogue. I long to learn more of the outside world, but Mother won't allow it. She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walls. But that only makes me question her judgment all the more. After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what of the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be shielded from that reality. But listen to me waffling on. <laughs> ah, I almost forgot. Here, I brought more of the money I owe you. I should have the remainder ready by our next meeting. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out I left the palace. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then, farewell. Here we are. I want to say that's the queen's son. At least that's what it seems like. Let's go to a beggar's tale. I think that was up in the um, ritzy area. Must we run everywhere? You are an impatient one, Arisen. Let us endeavor to keep up, though we are less fleet of foot. It's not that I'm impatient, it's I'm being slow. Is it... Okay, it's up one. Those garments you gave me had a marked effect. Albert set off to work the moment he saw them, and he's been working steadily ever since. I ne'er thought I'd see the day. To be frank, I've not the slightest interest in the man, but he can surely benefit this city much more by performing an honest duty than by begging on the streets. In short, you've done us all a service. Pray, allow me to show my appreciation. Ooh, three onyx. The I think gift this of tale giving. Would take such a turn. My own master will be keen to hear of what transpired here. Now that is a surprise. Is that the little girl's quest? It is. Daphne is her name. Mayhap this ladder is here for a reason. Ah, oh, excellent find. I fear I've not useful to share. Okay. Just figured I would try anyways. Where's the little girl at? Daphne. Where are you? Good lord. Should not have walked in there. 
Oh, it's not right. It doesn't make any sort of sense. The doctor examined him afore and said he'd be better with a bit of medicine. Yet ere since he came here, he's only gotten worse. I understand how you must feel. But you must see that your son's health continues to wane. There is no medicine that can heal him outright. He requires proper treatment. I am caring for him as best I can. I beg only for your patience. However, if you truly cannot entrust him to me, perhaps you would care to take him home with you instead. Mayhap convalescing in a place familiar to him would aid his recovery. Of course, I would be sure to visit him as oft as I am able. Uh, home, you say? Dear, we are pressed enough as tis. All right, he stays. But pray, bring my son back to health. I will look after him. I swear it. Is it too much to ever if I could? What should I do? What to do? What to do? Hoy arisen! Say, have you heard about the state of the river? Do you know the river close by the church? Well, it's come to be full of muck and filth and all sorts. That's a problem for the church, as it draws from the river to make holy water. The water's so filthy that it's going to take twice the amount of gold ore to purify it. I was thinking you could help the priests by finding some gold ore. After all, it wouldn't be good for anyone if the church ran out of holy water. I wouldn't say that it would be a good thing either. Sure, I'll help you out. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Thanks ever so much. I'll help too. I'll look for gold ore every place I can think of. Now we seek gold ore. Though tis sold in shops, mining some ourselves might prove the better choice. Might have him right, some are. in my storage. Where did that lady go that I was just talking to? Or I wasn't talking to her. She was talking to those people. Chaos in the world begins with chaos. A moment's prayer can... I don't think he'll talk. <clears throat> nope. Might I beg but a moment of your time? Chaos in the world begins with Chaos in the world be Oh my goodness. Yes, repeat the same dialogue over and over again. Sir, ought you not be in Ah, forgive me. You're not a patient, are you? I suppose you must be a visitor. Tis a pleasure to make your acquaintance. My name is Eleanor. I have the privilege of serving as abbess here. I regret that I cannot offer you a cup of tea, but I'm in the middle of making my rounds of the patients. Not to mention, I have to find the means to procure more medicinal ingredients. Oh. You wouldn't happen to know someone willing to brave the roads, would you? I know it is perilous, but there is one ingredient in particular we cannot afford to run out of. Um. I mean, I can try to bring you what you need. You would procure it yourself. I am grateful beyond words, sir. In that case, might I trouble you to bring me some miasmite? The slums are a bane to the body's humors, and its residents are oft prone to illness. We do what we can with what little we have, but we're always short on helping hands. Your aid is most appreciated, sir. May your search prove fruitful. Tell is, Myers might can be harvested from phantoms, monsters that wander the world at night. Ah, now I understand. Okay, so we're gonna have to get some miasmite. We might have some miasmite, but I haven't fought too many phantoms. Just the ones where that NPC ended up dying, unfortunately. it this way no oh, hey another bag cool
cool. Fruit wine. Let's deposit the fruit wine. That onyx. Let's withdraw some stuff. Do we have gold? Oh, man, we have two gold and that's exactly what we need. We have three miasmite. I don't know how many we need to give. So we got the gold. What is it? Saint of the slums. Bring the abbess three. Awesome. We literally have just enough gold and just enough uh, miasmite. That's luck. Let's go talk to Daphne first. Daphne's our friend. We need to make sure that we help her out first. And then we'll help out the Abbess. Hopefully she'll be able to heal some people. Seems like that one dude inside is not doing too well. There you are, Daphne. Hoy, Arisen! Have you found any gold ore yet? I actually did. Here's the gold ore you needed, Daphne. Wow! This'll be plenty, I reckon. Thank you ever so much. Listen, I was talking to the priests, and apparently our troubles aren't over yet. Would you be willing to lend us a hand again, Arisen? Just one more time. Not gonna lie, Daphne, you're being a bit needy, but sure, I'll help you out. Thanks. So, remember how I told you about the river by the church getting all mucky? Well, the grown-ups are saying it's gotten worse. Now lots of people who live nearby are falling sick. The priests have been treating everyone as best they can. But there's nowhere near enough medicine to go round. I want to help them, but I'm not sure what I can do. Apart from ask you, that is. Would you bring us some more medicine, Arisen? I mean, I can do that. It seems like your heart is in the good is in a good place, so I'll try to bring you some medicine, Daphne. Oh, thanks, Arisen. What would we do without you? I'll talk to the priests in the meantime. See if there's anything useful I can do. Now we've need of medicine. We can purchase it at shops or make some ourselves by combining the ingredients. By your leave. Yes, sir. Here is that miasmite. Which, I don't know how good that's going to do for people that are sick. Give them something that comes from phantoms or ghosts. Alright. Have you procured what I asked? Splendid. You've my gratitude. Unfortunately, I can give you little more than that. Forgive me. But I must return to my rounds directly. Ah. But, in place of a reward, mayhap I could give you a tour of the premises. Only if you've the time and inclination, of course. What say you? Would you care to accompany me? Gladly. As servants of the gracious hand, we provide whatever treatment we can to those unfortunate who are stricken by maladies. Yet, at times, it is not enough. Perhaps you will recall the parents who were here when you first arrived. An unfortunate pair. They've suffered no few hardships in the slums, and now even their poor son Lubomir has fallen ill. By chance, he was examined by a roaming man claiming to be a doctor. Yet, the family had not the money for the medicine he required. So, he was put into our care. Here he is. This young man is Lubomir. We've been administering the medicine recommended by the doctor who examined him. 
but he has yet to show any sign of recovery. To be perfectly honest, I doubt the soundness of that so-called doctor's judgment. After all, there is no shortage of ne'er-do-wells out there willing to claim their medicine the only cure, that they might inflate its price. But I suppose I ought not say such things so openly. A at any rate, I'd best continue on my rounds. Pray, stay as long as you wish. Come, come. We've medicine to prepare. We've enough to make a fresh batch now, thanks to a kind donation. Psst! You there! Help me! Listen, the sisters here are good to us, but I'm growing weaker day by day. It started with a slight fever, and now I can scarce lift myself up. See that empty bed? An old man was lying in it till just a few days past. He told me he was feeling better, that he'd be well enough to leave anon. And now he's... Mayhap I'm just imagining things. I hope that's the case. And yet... Gah! Something isn't right about this place. Pray, should you hear any queer rumors about the Gracious Hand, come tell me of them, won't you? I'd see to it myself, but I can hardly move. Okay. We're going to have to um, end the video here soon. We'll come back and we'll explore the Gracious Hand. But for now, let's run up top here. We'll go back over by the fountain where we first started the video. I think it's over here. Eventually I'll learn <laughs> to navigate this place. There's a ladder here. Ah, excellent find. Let's get our pawns to wait. So they'll just shut up for a minute. <laughs> Hopefully they'll shut up for a minute. It's very hard to uh, do an outro with the pawns talking all the time. All right, everybody, this is where we're going to end the video. I want to start by telling everybody thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean a lot to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.